Hi, today I'd like to show you a little tip for making sure that things in your image are pure white. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm shooting here a, a photograph of uh, Jasper uh, on a white seamless background, and you can see that I've got some areas of shadow where the light didn't hit it completely, and importantly, you can see he, uh, he was wearing a collar and he was kind of fidgeting around, so I had somebody holding him, and the shadow of the arm is there, and you can kind of see what that looks like. Here, this is the untouched up version. And so we're getting the shadow on the arm, and, and that's definitely something that we're going to want to address. It's important to understand in Photoshop there are many ways that you can address different things. Uh, today I'm going to show you one that isn't really often used. It's super easy, and the key is uh, just in knowing that you need to do a little bit of masking afterwards. Now I'm showing you here on a white seamless background because this is an obvious choice. However, it really isn't limited just to shooting in the studio. This can be used for anything where you should have a, something that should be pure white in an image, you know, whether it's a landscape or a portrait or, or really anything. So the first step is do, do your touch-ups. You want to get your image in pretty good shape before you, you take on this next step. And the next part is to basically make a copy of everything that you've done. Now there's a keyboard shortcut and it's Control Shift Alt E or Alt Option Shift E on a Mac. And what you can see is that basically now I just have a, a duplicate. And if I, if I turn this layer on, it looks exactly the same. The key for this technique is using a blending mode called Divide. Now this is a blending mode that you've probably never heard of. And what happens is it divides the value, the pixel values, by what's below it, and basically you get pure white. Um, you can see obviously we're not exactly pure white, we can still see a little bit of the face, but obviously it's taking care of everything here in the background. And as I mentioned earlier, the key now is to mask this effect in so that we're only getting it where we want. The first step typically for me is to make a layer mask and I'll use the alter option key when clicking on the mask so that it's black and so it's going to hide everything. And then I'll go to the gradient tool. I use white and by default it shows white to black and the second one over is white to transparent. This is going to be much better for you because it allows you to add multiple gradients. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if I do the gradient here, we can see we're, we're getting pretty good removal of that shadow, but every time I click somewhere else it just moves it. Whereas if we undo a few steps to where we started, if we're in the second mode here, we're at white to transparent, now we can add in multiple gradients and we can build up a pretty quick and easy start to uh, where we want to be. Now you can see we're kind of coming into Jasper a little bit and so then obviously the, the next step here is going to be refining this mask and from there we're going to want to go to the brush tool and now we're going to want to paint with black. I'm using a relatively low opacity and flow brush here. The key is that that allows for a more feathered effect and a more feathered effect is usually going to be a more natural effect. The other thing, if I right click here, you can see my hardness is zero. This is also going to add some extra feathering in. My brush value is 150 and that's pretty appropriate for this size. And so it's just a matter of painting back the detail that we want. And uh, you can see it comes in pretty easy. And because I'm using a low opacity and flow again here, it, it's going to take multiple passes to get it where we want. But again, that's going to leave for a nice feathered effect. I'm going to pause here while I finish this up, and then you can see the final effect. So there you have it. It's pretty quick and easy to do in order to make areas pure white. Again, the key really is refining your mask afterwards. And my edits here took maybe two minutes, so it's a very quick and easy way to do it. The other thing that, that we take care of is any you know extra dog fur or anything like that that would be on the bottom. And again, it makes it very quick and easy. So I definitely encourage you to explore the divide blend mode. Again, the steps repeated are just to make a new copy of your entire composite. And so that's Control Shift Alt E or Shift Alt Command E on a Mac. And that will duplicate and stamp out a copy of the entire image up to that point. 
change your blend mode to divide and then add a layer mask and start working to reveal the areas that you don't want hidden. Let me know if you have any questions. I think that you'll like this technique. It's quick and simple and makes for a very easy edit.